from the all india bank employees association we greet and congratulate all the bank employees aib members united forum members for the successful signing of the mou with the iba on 7th of december well bipartite wage revision and offices wage revision 12th bipartite settlement also will be a industry level uniform bipartite settlement at very short time we have concluded the negotiation normally there used to be lot of fight struggle strike etc this time without even a demonstration or dharna or strike this moi has been signed achieving a very good wage revision for the bank employees in the given circumstances what are the broad parameters number 1 ib has agreed that this settlement will be effective from november 2022 second point is it will be for a period of 5 years that means november 22 to october 27 third point the new pay scales will be revised and reconstructed with the merger of dearna salvans up to 8088 point this is also very important so far in our country there is no wage scale or pay scale anywhere in any sector which is linked to 8088 so this time again aib and united forum we are a pioneers we are the pathfinders for stabilizing the basic pay of the workers at the highest possible level that is at 8088 points remaining things are going to be further discussed and full settlement will be signed main point is this settlement will cover about 7 lakh 70000 employees and officers of public sector bank private sector bank foreign banks and the total cost is 17% that means 17% increase in the total wage bill of as on november or march 2022 so total wage bill will be 17% the amount comes to 12499 crores now we will go for the distribution of this amount to various head the revised pay scale dearna salavan hra all allowances everything will be decided simultaneously we are discussing other service conditions like leave lfc disciplinary action special pay etc etc those things will be completed and another one bank employees have been waiting anxiously for the introduction of fide banking in this uh, mou you will find that gom ib has informed that they have already recommended the matter to the government and we are expecting any time the government will announce their approval for this one more thing also it has been covered by the mou that we have been demanding improvement in the pension earlier for pre 1986 retirees united forum we negotiated argued from 350 rupees uh, plus da as gracia pension for the pre 1986 pensioners now it has been ensured that minimum 10000 rupees will be paid to them that was over then after that family pension has been improved uniform 30% without ceiling that is another very important uh, improvement in the pension scheme then there was another issue pre november 2002 retirees pensioners they were getting the old uh, tapering da with a different slab system from uh, eight by part eight we got the 100% da so we have been asking that it should be uh, given to extended to the uh, pre 19 uh, november 2002 pensioners also unfortunately some retirees association they went to the court supreme court rejected so there was a problem but united forum again negotiated and this has been agreed and now it is implemented also with government approval thereby ensuring a substantial Uh, improvement in pension for the november 2002 prior uh, pensioners and now we have another issue we have taken up some people resigned even though pension was offered to them they did not take it and subsequently they resigned and uh, now an moe has been signed these resigned employees also will be eligible to get an opportunity to opt for pension and now another thing is there updation that mean we have to periodically update the pension uh, for the retired people it is uh, pending from 1986 we had to spend lot of time uh, up to 2010 for 15 years united forum we tried for one more option and 2010 uh, we all know nine bipartite about more than 3 lakh 30000 people they came into the pension scheme so 15 years went in that then we have been pursuing updation but it was uh, getting delayed due to cost etc and now in this to begin with 
Our demand is updation of pension periodical and there should be a clear provision in the pension regulation. But pending that, now IB has agreed that we will work out an Esgracia pension uh, to all the pensioners from January 1986 till now. So this is also going to be worked out very shortly. That way, this uh, MOU sign is a very important, significant milestone achievement of the United Forum of Bank Union. Thanks to the unity, employees and officers all are moving together. Now we have taken care of 7,70,000 uh, working employees and officers and nearly another 7 lakhs, uh, more than 7 lakhs of pensioners. So this is a very happy occasion, a very good achievement of the bank employees movement. Nowhere in the country, either government, public sector, private sector, nobody is talking of wage revision and nowhere any settlement has taken place. So once again, United Forum and bank employees, we are the people who are opening the gate for wage revision for the peop working people in this country. So we are very proud. Once again, we greet all the bank employees and officers on this wonderful achievement of MOU. And we only hope that IBA will further continue the discussions and uh, very shortly the full-fledged 12 bipartite and office wage revision will be signed. We are also uh, thankful to the IBA for the positive attitude taken by them in resolving our demands uh, at the very, I mean, uh, expeditiously. I would also like to thank uh, Madam uh, Finance Minister because uh, the government also had given a signal to complete the process early. So that way we are happy. We only hope that at the earliest remaining discussions will be completed and the final settlement will be signed to benefit the bank employees after which the benefit will be implemented and extended to the bank employees.